Hey everybody, it is Monday, January 25th, and this is your Keeping Connected video. Normally you see Pastor Drew on Mondays, but he had a very busy day. So we did some swapping around, and you have me today. And I am excited to be with you for just a few minutes today. We are going to follow up this week on the sermon from Sunday. I hope you got to be with us in worship um, on Sunday, either in person or um, online, or of course in a Mac pack. All of these are excellent ways to stay connected to us. Um, and to be in worship. And so you heard Pastor Charlie preach on um, the book of Jonah. And so we thought that we would read it together with you this week. So I'll read chapter one. And I want to encourage you to get your Bible out and to follow along with me. Um, but in case you're wondering, where is the book of Jonah in the Bible? It's kind of an obscure book. Um, I thought I would show you. Of course you could use your table of contents. Like, yeah, I'm a little bit stubborn. I thought you might be a little bit stubborn too and you want to look for it on your own so i'm just going to point you in the right direction the book of jonah is in the old testament so the first half of the bible and the old testament has several sections the beginning you have the first five books the uh, pentateuch or the talmud genesis exodus exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy one of those five books then of course you have some history samuel kings Esther, Ezra, Nehemiah, all of those. Then you have um, the books, uh, the book of Psalms, which is the biggest book um, in the Bible. And then of course you have the wisdom literature, Proverbs, um, Ecclesiastes, and Job. And um, then you go into the book of prophecies. So the, there's lots of books of prophecy in the end of the Old Testament, the major prophets like Isaiah. And then we have these whole list of minor prophets, and that's where Jonah is. Jonah is right after Obadiah and before Micah. It's only four chapters. You can miss it real quick. So that's where he is. All right, I'm going to read to you the first chapter of the book of Jonah. This is the new uh, Revised Standard Version, which is the one we use in worship. But of course, you can use whatever Bible you have at home. Let's read. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Go at once to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it, for the wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah sent out to, set out to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare, went on board to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. He's already running so fast into it. But the Lord hurled a great wind upon the sea, and such a mighty storm came upon the sea that the ship threatened to break up. Then the mariners were afraid, and each cried to his God, and they threw the cargo that was on in the ship into the sea to lighten the load for them. Jo Jonah, meanwhile, had gone down into the hold of the ship and had lain down and was fast asleep. And the captain came and asked him, What are you doing Sound asleep. Get up and call on your God. Perhaps the God will spare us a thought so that we do not perish. And the sailors said to one another, Come, let us cast lots so that we may know on whose account this calamity has come upon us. We don't cast lots anymore, but this is something they did a lot in the Old Testament and the Bible. You see it right before Jesus was crucified. Anyways, so back to ending verse 7. So they cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. And then they said to him, Tell us why this calamity has come upon us. What is your occupation? Where do you come from? What is your country? And of what people are you? I am Hebrew, he replied. I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. And then the men were even more afraid, and they said to him, What is this that you have done? For the man knew that he was fleeing from the presence of the Lord because he had told them so. And then they said to him, What shall we do for you, to you, that the sea may quiet down for us? For the sea was growing more and more temptuous. He said to them, This is Jonah speaking, Pick me up and throw me into the sea, and then the sea will quiet down for you. For I know it is because of me that this great storm has come upon you. But nevertheless, the men rowed hard to bring the ship back to land, but they could not. For the sea grew more and more stormy against them. And then they cried out to the Lord, Please, O Lord, we pray, do not let us perish on account of this man's life. 
Do not make us guilty of innocent blood for you, O Lord. Have done it as, as it pleased you. So they picked up Jonah and they threw him into the sea. And the sea ceased from its raging and the men feared the Lord even more. And they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and they made vows. But the Lord provided a large fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. This is the word of God for you, the people of God. Thanks be to God. This is an interesting story now, isn't it? It is one, and it's definitely a book of prophecy that will teach us something about God. So I look forward to hearing how God reveals God's self to you this week as you read um, the word of God. And as always, it's good to see you, and we're praying for you. Bye now.